All right, so today we're gonna to be designing a label for beer. So let's get our circle tool and we'll draw a circle first. There we go, center that, excellent. All right, now what we're gonna do is draw a line about a quarter of the way down and we're going to cut this in half here. So let's, uh, let's select just the uh, line and then we'll go up to object, path and divide objects below. All right, now we've chopped that in half We'll take that out, and we're going to delete the top part. Alrighty, center that. There we go. Alrighty. So now we're going to draw another perfect circle, uh, just a little bit bigger than the last one. And we're going to send it to back. Alright, and this one's going to be the background circle. The actual label. So let's give this a color. Center a little bit. And looks good. There we go. All right, excellent. All right, now we're gonna adjust the strokes. So on the inside, it's, um, the inside we should do three. We'll do a three-point stroke on the inside, and we'll do a two-point stroke on the outside. This will give the label some depth. Excellent. Alrighty, so let's apply a gradient to our inner circle change it to radial and let's put some color on the gradient some tan look good there we go bring it up a little bit let's get the second color oh excellent and perfect all right so now actually we need to center the gradient on the actual circle so what we're going to do is cut the gradient tool and we're just going to drag this up to the center of both circles. There you go. And now it's positioned correctly. Alrighty. So now we got the, pretty much the basis set. So we're going to put down our font. Now our fake beer company is going to be called Bear and Arrow. So let's do that. This will look pretty cool. So we're going to choose a, a script cursive font. Have our bear down. And let's uh, move this to the side here. We need a little more, a little more room to work. All right, so let's do bear, copy paste, and symbol. There we go. Go oh, and let's put arrow down. Let's see arrow already. There we go. Now position it, make it look fancy and whatnot. Move that down. Perfect. All righty. So now we need to add some effects to it, multi layers. So let's uh, let's select all of that and let's group it. It'll make it a lot easier later here. All right, now let's rotate this. There we go. All right, now we have the essence of our actual logo here. So let's uh, select it and copy and paste it. There we go. All right, so now we're going to adjust the uh, stroke a little bit here so let's crank this up good portion there we go and let's change this to white as this will actually be in front of our font there we go let's uh, make everything perfect there we go all right now we're gonna send this to the back and then this as you can see turns into our outline now there's an easier technique you can use for this called create outlines but I prefer to use this because it doesn't uh, doesn't limit your ability to edit it once you've done it so let's create another one and this one's going to be another shade for it so let's create this uh, this it's actually the same color as the uh, background circle so let's do the fill and the stroke the same and let's increase it a ton there you go nice and fat font now let's send this to the back there we go. Now position it, make it look fancy. All right, looking good. Um, all righty. And you can see there's actually a couple defects in there. So they're, we're gonna switch our uh, rounding mode on the stroke, and that'll uh, that'll straighten it out and smooth out the corners. So now with that finished, let's drag it over and put it on our logo. 
There we go. Wait, almost. All right. Now let's uh, go to object, bring this to front. All right, perfect. All right, so far so good. Now let's add a couple effects to it. So as you can see, I already have my wheat symbols pre-made. So we're just going to copy those and paste those here. And it's already the same color, as you can see. It's the background. All right, this will add, add a nice touch to our beer logo. All right. And now, just one more part. Um, I'm just going to put, like, lager on the top. Or nail, I guess. It doesn't matter. All right. So, let's, uh, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to make this kind of like an outline effect. So let's turn this one to white. And we'll put it over. Adjust, make it look good. All right, perfect. And that pretty much completes the logo. Thanks for watching.